Hello and welcome back to part four on the series of programming the player game AI for my new game Shattered Throne. I'm joined once again by my son Bennett. Uh, mm -hmm, I'm Bennett. Well first of all, what are those little blue themes and red themes that I mean like are in the area? Well we still have the influence map showing from last time. The difference here is the blue player is the new player. Basically, if you see the red lines, those are the goals that are assigned to each of the units. Mm, I was just going to ask you about that. So we have the same red player as last time, but this time we added a blue player that does yeah. some planning, some strategic planning. And that's actually more smart? Well, that was the hope. Um, I'm not sure if it really came off that way or not. It looks like red's already getting to its factory. I, I'm... Hopefully, blue will win. I don't know. Though. There's actually some problems I'm already noticing. Um, for one instance, the, the little light horse unit, the squire units, um, the way they're handled is they don't take any damage unless they have a combo point on them. And because the AI isn't programmed to um, sequence its attacks properly, that turns out to be quite an overpowering ability. So then the squire's sword is more closer to unstoppable than it would with human because of its hardness and the computer is not really planning about that? Exactly. Um, so that's it, a secret weapon, basically. Yeah, normally it's not that strong of a unit, but in this case, it's, its special ability is being magnified much too much. So I think uh, my next step after this is to try to sequence the tactical engine better. Yeah, blue seems to be grouping up again, but I want to ask, what is red doing at the bottom left corner? It's just standing there doing nothing. Mm -hmm. um, I think we did get rid of some of that behavior with the goals that blue has, but you'll notice a lot of the spearmen are all on both sides are standing around together. Yeah, I know, because of that special ability that makes them stronger. Right, so the spearmen have a special ability where they get a bonus when they stand next to other units of the same type. And I can tell by looking at this that uh, I actually have a little extra weight that the AI puts to stand next to each other with the spearmen. And I think that weight's a little bit too strong. Um, so we're going to try to address that. Oh yeah, I just saw the theme with the squire again. They're like attacking uh, some other unit makes its turn, then attacks the other unit, then attacks again. So instead of just going like attack, attack, attack. Exactly. So that squire is basically unstoppable. Right, so I see some major problems that I'm going to try to address next time. And um, Actually, if playing this all the way through, um, Red actually ends up winning this, and I think you mentioned last time that this map is a little bit unbalanced. And I think that's something else I'm going to have to address is to put together a better balanced map that's more symmetrical yeah, between the two sides. Yeah, and also Red has too much of an advantage besides houses, so then, so then when it comes to computer versus computer, or, I mean, the first, I mean, Red basically, he starts to win, except, again, it's just grouping up up a spearman at the bottom of corner again. Mm -hmm. It's basically just random. The one good news here is in previous videos I actually sped up the game double time um, using the video tools, but this time I actually have the game running at twice the speed as normal. And despite all the AI calculations going on, there's no noticeable slowdown. So there's definitely some, some room there that we can grab to um, add a little bit more brains to them. Well... Well, the squires seem to have gotten the blue factory again. Yep. So you're going to fix the squire. So the squires mean um, advantage when it's the computer? Yeah, well, that's going to be next week. I'm going to try to take a hard look at the actual tactical engine and have it um, try to pick the best move and try to chain moves together that affect the same unit. And hopefully uh, we'll see a little bit better behavior. Um, so thank you for joining us once again, and um, we'll see you around next time. If you're interested in some of the more nitty-gritty details on what's going on here, you can check out my dev blog over at www.checkmarkgames.com. Shout out And thank you very much for joining us. Bye-bye.